Hello everyone, today we are going to learn how to warp images. So we will be using the warp perspective function in OpenCV and learn how to transform images from an angled perspective to a bird view. So this is what we are going to achieve today. So you can see the red dot is our starting point, then we have the green, and then white, and then blue. So let's get started. The first thing we will need is our libraries, CB2 and NumPy. And then we will require an image. So the image we are using is in our resources folder by the name cards. And we are going to show it using the IM show function. So if I run this now, this is our original image. So what we are going to do is we are going to extract this uh, card, uh, the card of King, and we will look at it as if it was 2D from the top view. So <clears throat> in order to do that, we need to know the X and Y points of all four corners of our image. So as we saw earlier, we need to know these points, the red, green, white and blue points to actually convert it into a 2D image. So we need to know these points where they are and then we can write them down uh, and we can apply the perspective. So let's get started. And the first thing we will do is we will open up our image in the Explorer and we will click on edit. Now the reason we are doing this is to actually know the pixel values so we can zoom in and here at the bottom you can see if you look at the bottom of the screen you can see where the pixels are at any given point uh, in terms of the mouse so we can note down the pixel values. So I'm gonna take a piece of paper and write this down. So the first corner I can see is 111 and 219 and the second one is around let's say here is around 287 and 188 and the third one is around 154 and 482 and the last one is around this point where it is 352 and 440. So now that we have our points, we will go back to our code and we will enter these values in a matrix and we will create this matrix using the NumPy library. We will say points 1 is equals to np.float and we will say it is 32 and then we are going to add our sorry we are going to add our values in them so let's say the first one is what the first one is 111 and then it is 219 so this is our first point and then we have point number two is 287 and 188 and then our third point is 154 482 and then we have 352 and 440 oops wasn't watching okay so l let's see if we did that right we will say pts prints pts1 and let's run it so yeah we have um an array of values array of points so uh, it's, it's better to actually visualize these points that so that we are heading in the right direction so we can use the cv2 uh, circle function cv2 dot circles um, to actually plot the circles if you're not familiar with how to use circles and draw different shapes I will have a link in the video that will let you know uh, that will take you to the tutorial where we discuss how to draw shapes and texts so we need to uh, give it our points we will say our points one uh, we have to give the x-axis 
uh, the first point and the second point so we will say zero and then we will say zero and then we need the points one and then we need zero and then we need the second value so basically we are just taking the first value here we are putting it here and then this is the second value that we are putting it here so this is the x and y the, uh, value that we are going to use uh, and using that we can plot our points so we are going to say that our radius is 5 and let's say our color is red 0, 2, 5, 5 and we want it to be filled so C, uh, sorry, CV2 dot filled so let's run this and see what happens uh, only integer slices oops points okay there is a mistake probably in the brackets somewhere uh, yep this is it there is an extra set of brackets my bad okay so you can see we are heading in the right direction we have the point in uh, the first point at zero zero of the the card itself now we are going to print out the rest of the points now one way to do it is just to copy paste and uh, change the values the better way is to just add a loop for x in range from zero to four I will say we need to loop and we can just change our first variable to x and this should fill up uh, yes so it gave us all four points because every time it's looping uh, it goes from zero so the first time it's zero zero and then it goes to the second one 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 so it becomes one and then two and then three of course the four is not added um, it's not in inclusive so let's move forward now now that we have our first point we need the second uh, points where or which we are going to use to actually tell which corresponding points are we talking about so the red one for example this one is zero zero we need to tell it it is zero zero this one is width and zero this is what we need to tell um, the function so we will declare points two is equals to again numpy dot float f l o a t 32 and then we are going to declare the same way we did before okay the same mistake again now we're going to put zero zero and then we are going to put our width and uh, zero and then we are going to add our height and zero and then we will add our width and height which is our last corner point <coughs> uh, we did not declare width and height so we should so basically width and height are what we need to decide on so since uh, a regular card is about 2.5 into 3.5 inches we will keep the same uh, aspect ratio and we can put it 250 by let's say 350 so now that we have our points we need to find out the the metrics actually the points we should display at the very end um, so that it does not include in our output image I, I will explain that later as well so let's move that and uh, let's create our matrix that will allow us to get our perspective so we will say get perspective transform and we will say of points one and point two <coughs> PTS and then we need our output image so we will say output is equals to cv2 dot warp perspective now uh, this takes in parameters of image so we have to define which image are we taking these pixels from and then what is the matrix 
and then we need to define the final width and height of our um, what do you call image so <clears throat> we will say width and height that we decided on and this should give us an output image so if I copy this and paste I will say output image and this will be output actually I should write image output so it's better that way image outputs okay so let's rerun and let's see what happens and we get something wrong what happened mm, let's see our points are correct um, but for some reason we are not getting the correct image let's see where did we go wrong okay so it should be zero and height my bad now if we run yes there you go so now we are getting a bird view of our image that we had the points selected from so this is zero zero it comes here then this is the width and zero and then it is this is zero and height and at the end we have the width and height so this is how easy it is you can see with a few lines of code we can actually extract uh, quite relevant information uh, in the upcoming videos we will also see uh, instead of going into paint and looking at different pixels how can we select through a mouse uh, some points and we we can get the the warp of that region the word perspective uh, and later on we'll also see how can we automatically detect for example rectangles uh, different shapes and get those regions out automatically without any human intervention so this is it for today's video and i will see you in the next one